Learn and play online. In this video, we are going to learn all about the Australian notes. Here are all the newest notes that are used in Australia. Let's put them in order from smallest to largest in value. First, we have the $5 note. Next comes the $10 note. Then comes the $20 note. After that, we have the $50 note. Finally, we have the $100 note which is the largest in value. Here are some facts about the $5 note. On one side, there is a portrait of Queen Elizabeth II. Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II is Australia's head of state. She has appeared on the currency of over 30 countries. The Parliament House and the Forecourt Mosaic is featured on the other side of the note. Did you know that each denomination in the new series of Australian banknotes will feature a different species of Australian wattle and a native bird? So on the $5 note, you will find the Prickly Moses Wattle and the Eastern Spinebill. Here are some facts about the $10 note. On both sides of the $10 note, you will see portraits of famous Australian writers. On one side of the note is Dame Mary Gilmore, who was born in 1865. In her lifetime, she was a school teacher, a poet and a journalist who was passionate about social issues. One of her most famous works was called No Foe Shall Gather Our Harvest, which was written during the Second World War. On the other side of the $10 note is Banjo Patterson. His real name was Andrew Barton Patterson. He called himself Banjo after his favorite horse. One of his most famous poems is called The Man from Snowy River. The native wattle and bird that you will find on the $10 note is the bramble wattle and the sulphur crested cockatoo. Here are some facts about the $20 note. On one side, there is a portrait of one of Australia's most accomplished women, Mary Reby. She arrived in Australia as a convict, however, eventually became a successful businesswoman. On the other side of the $20 note is a portrait of Reverend John Flynn. He founded the Australian Inland Mission, which was created to serve remote central and northern regions of Australia. Reverend John Flynn also founded the world's first aerial medical service, now known as the Royal Flying Doctor Service. The boxleaf wattle and the laughing kookaburra are the native wattle and bird featured on this note. Here are some facts about the $50 note. This note celebrates an Australian Aboriginal inventor, writer and political activist by the name of David Unipon. He was the first Aboriginal Australian to publish written work in English. The other side of the $50 note depicts Edith Cowan. She was a significant figure who helped to shape the rights of women and children in Australia today. 
Edith Cowan became the first female member of the Australian Parliament when she was elected to the Western Australian Legislative Assembly in 1921. The native wattle and bird featured on this note is the Acacia humifusa and the black swan. Here are some facts about the $100 note. Featured on one side of the $100 note is Dame Nellie Melba. She was a famous Australian opera singer who performed in Australia, Europe and the United States of America in the late 19th and early 20th century. The other side of the banknote depicts a portrait of Sir John Monash. He was a civil engineer and an Australian soldier. Sir John Monash was considered to be one of the best corps commanders and he was the commander of the Australian Army in the First World War. The native wattle and bird featured on this note is the Acacia pignantha and the Australian masked owl. Thanks for watching! Please remember to subscribe for more videos.